Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we will practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you are looking for some more videos to help you practice, I'll point you in the direction of those videos at the end of this video today. The focus for this week is drum roll. Matching item. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fifth grade, here is your problem this week. Go ahead and pause the video to just try to solve this one on your own first. And then when you're ready to continue, press play. All right, fifth grade, welcome back. So this one says match each division expression with its equivalent value. Awesome, okay. So what we do is we have these expressions over here and they're division expressions that we need to rewrite as a fraction, right? So let me go ahead and take off that first one. Taking that fraction, let me bring it down to where I can work it out on paper. So five divided by six is the same as five sixths. Okay, so because of that, I can go ahead and just mark fine five, six. That was pretty simple, wasn't it? Let's try the next one. We've got six divided by five. Well, as a fraction, we can write that as six divided by five or six fifths. Now, I don't see an answer that says six fifths, but I do see an answer that says one and one fifth. And that's true because six fifths can be decomposed as five fifths plus one fifth. And five fifths is the same as what? One whole, right? So this would be equal to one whole and one fifth. So that's how we get that answer, just like that. All right, let's move on to the, the expression of three divided by 10. And we can rewrite that as a fraction right down here. 3 divided by 10 is the same thing as 3 tenths. Do you see that as a fraction? Yeah, I do too, the very first one. So let's go ahead and mark that. Or I need to go ahead and mark that. And then we have our final division expression, 10 divided by 3. Let's write that as a fraction. 10 divided by 3, awesome. Now do you see 10 thirds up there? I don't either, but I see three and one third, which I believe is equivalent, but I'm going to make sure that it is first. Okay, so 10 thirds could be decomposed as three thirds plus three thirds, that would be six thirds, plus three thirds would be nine thirds, plus, I'm running out of room, but one third. There we go, so three thirds plus three thirds plus three thirds plus one third does equal 10 thirds. So because of that, that would be one, two, three holes, three holes and one third. Let's mark that one. And that is how it is done. So go ahead and pause the video to jot down your notes. And when you're ready to close out this video today, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the links somewhere around this video. Are you? Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to dedicate time to practice and you've got to put forth your very best effort each and every time. I believe in you and I will see you next time, world changers. Bye.